All right, sorry I'm late. <laughs> All right, so concrete started before. It's 9.30, 5.40, sorry I'm late. Um, I'm gonna change my clothes. We're gonna do the video filming for uh, the Payday Aviation Business Park. Then I got a partner flying in in the helicopter. We're gonna meet with him. Then we got the trike business partner meeting at 10. When that's done, I gotta be back on concrete by noon. So I got my change of clothes. That's work. It's physics, math, and engineering. Machine it, draft it, build it, test it, break it. Every time something new gets built, the entire world advances. Laying in bed at night, it's designing new parts, designing new suspension, designing new wings. Uh, <laughs> you're funny. All right, guys, I am so excited to tell you about something we have been working on for years in the making. It's finally come about. We are so far along already. We are actually going to be breaking ground in the next couple months on a brand new Payday Aviation business park. We want to do an entire airport clean sheet design on a new side of the runway that is everything about general aviation specifically to all the flyers like you that watch my channel. Places for cubs, grass, we got a park, a place where all pilots want to hang out. So we're doing something unique. We're building hangars that have everything we believe you want. A lot of you want something like maybe what I've built here, a place to hang out, maybe a place to shoot some pool, have a fridge, snacks, a resting room, a place to just unwind, do a pre-flight, post-flight, debrief, somewhere nice to hang out that isn't necessarily in the FBO. We are doing an FBO, I'll show that to you as well, but we wanted hangers that every single row had its own private entrance, private parking, not needing to wander around to some back area, park in a taxiway, lift up your door and put your car away. We wanted something where you pull up, where your guests pull up. Every single row has a grand entry that that row shares. I have never seen this before. I've seen a row share a bathroom at the end. We wanted something different. Grand parking, a grand entry. You walk in, you have your own fridge, restrooms, TV, lounge, little bar area, hangout. And then through that entry is a hallway that goes into every hangar. So you can literally park, roll your bag in dry, out of the heat, out of the sun, out of the snow, come in the back door of your hangar and depart so that every single hangar feels like you have your own FBO or place to meet and greet your guests without sharing it with 400 other hangers on the field. So that's what we're doing. We're really excited to launch this business park. A lot of you out there live around the country. We want people to find and come to Utah and drop their cub here and leave it. I know there's some of you out there have mentioned it and oddly enough, before we even made the announcement, we already have people from California, Colorado, buying hangers here at the Spanish Fork Payday Aviation Business Park so they can be in the heart of one of the greatest playgrounds in the Western United States. Some of the greatest backcountry strips, rivers, lakes, bring your motorhome out, your boat out, your airplane out, then just travel in and go out from there. We want to make a community aviation business park for the general aviation pilot in the heart of one of the greatest playgrounds on earth. All right, to start this off, how do you enter into the aviation business park? Right now in Spanish Fork, you go down a back road, down a main street, down another back road, wind around the corner, come to a backside of an old airport, old buildings, old hangars. We love it, it's a small town airport. The new entry to the airport is gonna be a brand new off-ramp right off the freeway. Come to the first stoplight straight ahead into a brand new FBO. And our team, Payday Aviation Business Park, has been working with the city and we are getting front entrance straight in to our new FBO. So as you come in, you're gonna pass by all the private parking to every row of hangars. You're gonna come up to a giant aircraft sitting on a pole into a huge, community park. 
And when I say park, I'm talking grass, trees, walkways, maybe some putting greens. It's going to be a big round circle of grass, a place for everyone to hang out. So when you park your car in front of your row of hangers, you have a park behind you, beautiful Mount Timpanogos views, settings of the great Utah Rocky Mountains. And then from there, you can relax, go for a walk around or jog around the park, go check out the plane on a pole. We wanna put in a barbecue pit, a hangout area, seating areas. We want the airport to be for general aviation pilots where they just go to the airport to hang out, not pay anything, not do anything more than just hang out with fellow pilots. We want it to be a place where you just want to come and visit. Or if you're flying in, a place to relax between your legs or jump in a car, hike Mount Timpanogos, go see the caves, go see Bridal Veil Falls, anything around while you're taking an hour break or an hour layover, there's so much to do. We are going to build an FBO that's conducive to general aviation pilots that wanna hang out with other pilots and go enjoy our great state of Utah. We want this to be your destination, not just to stop and hang out and play, but if you're flying over, and maybe you can make it all the way to your stop with an hour plus reserve. Stop anyway, get your fuel here. We're gonna have the lowest prices fuel, period. That is our goal and our objective. We want you to stop, hang out. I'm actually building a spot touching the FBO, we'll likely do all glass walls, into where I keep all my aircraft, Scrappy, Draco, Turbulence, any wild, crazy creation. We want it to be a place where you come by and visit. Check out the builds I'm doing, the builds underway. We want you to come be part of general aviation with us. All these fun and exciting things, let's talk about the things that aren't usually fun to talk about. The challenges and the hardest thing we're facing in general aviation today. We're losing our general aviation airports. Small airports all over the country are being closed down or bigger airports are pushing out general aviation. About every state that I talk to someone, they describe an airport that is not growing for general aviation, it's the reverse. And that's a really difficult thing. And so we started a long time ago, years ago, working to get everybody that we believe has a passion for general aviation onto the airport board. Some of you out there are worried about your field or other fields. Take some initiative, join the airport board and help protect general aviation. Mark's on the board now, a lot of our other friends on the board, we worked for years to slowly put in people that see the future of general aviation and want to grow it, not stay stagnant. Cities often are part of the problem. And I don't believe they're trying to be difficult, they just don't understand general aviation. It's just a misunderstanding of what general aviation does for the world, for bringing in new pilots, transitioning them into airlines, giving a path for a lot of jobs, a lot of opportunities that puts money everywhere into the community. So we spent a lot of time talking to our city. We put them in our aircraft and we flew them around to some great FBOs. And we said, this is what we want at our city at Spanish Fork Airport. We want something grand. We want to be an example. We want to be one of the friendliest, greatest airports in America. This is when the city stepped up and showed us who they really are. They said, this is where you're gonna learn how great of partners we are at Spanish Fork. And they gave us a 50 year lease. As far as I know, that is one of, if not the greatest protected asset airport in the country. And if there's others, they're probably privately owned. We are so excited to have a city that is on board with all of our visions and looking to extend it and make it even better. So thank you, Spanish Fork City, everybody, the mayor, all of you that met with us. We have an event where the city is so behind us. We did drag racing down the runway, air shows, and all kinds of great events. We had over 10,000 people show up last time. We want to continue growing the greatest aviation community in the country, and they're backing us. So we're gonna continue to do these events. We want backcountry flying events. Come fly with me and all of my friends. Leave your plane here and come out regularly and play with us. We would love to help organize Cirrus fly-in, Cessna fly-in, Carbon Cub, the whole factory. Bring everybody out and let's do some fly-ins. We are building the ramp, the facilities, the services to handle far more than we have in our small town of Spanish Fork. We are building a community of aviators. 
Aviation is our life. Mine and my partners, there are other things we could do or invest our money in that would be better than this. Only financially. Not better than this and how much fun we're going to get out of it the rest of our lives. I have a request. If you were going to build your dream airport to hang out with fellow aviators, what do you want in it? We want to build it. We want every wild idea out there. I'm not saying we'll do all of them, but if it's fun and it builds general aviation, we're going to likely put a big check mark next to it and go for it. So please jump in the comments. Tell us what you don't like about airports. Tell us what you do like. I want the good, the bad, the ugly. I want your help. We have a grand vision, and if you can put your input on this video, please help us out. We'd love to hear from you. Hey guys, we're gonna wrap it up right here. We're super excited to show you a whole build series on creating the greatest general aviation airport in the country. That is our goal. We want your help to figure it out. Give us all your comments. We want to hear what you think we should do. Come get a hanger from us. I don't care where you live. I'm sure you got a plane here or there. Get a cub, get another plane. Bring your toys out here, your ATVs. I have several friends that are going to pick up an extra cub and park it with us so they can come flying with us. Check out paydaviation.com. You can learn all about it. Reach out, contact us, leave comments here. Come pick up a hanger. We'd love to have you part of our community. Back to work.